Well, now we're about to show you something that few Canadians have ever seen. Military maneuvers usually carried out with utmost secrecy. Today, members of Canada's elite, Joint Task Force 2, demonstrated their extraordinary skills at sea in Hudson Bay. And as the CBC's Margot McDermott explains, the exercise came with a serious message. You're watching something extremely rare in Canada, a muscular show of force from the military's highly secretive unit. These commandos never reveal even the slightest details of what they do. In fact, their very existence was denied for years. It's all designed to show who's in charge in Canada's north. The mock scenario, special ops forces rappel onto an ecotourism ship. On board, a passenger trying to sneak into the country illegally. Within minutes, he's arrested. The Prime Minister took it all in. This exercise is extraordinary because it includes JTF-2, part of Canada's highly secret counter-terrorism unit. This is the first time they have ever publicly strutted their stuff. Their involvement was actively encouraged by the Prime Minister's office. Their commander says it's time they show the country and the world what they can do. But it's important for them to, uh, to, to be seen to be contributing to Canada's overall defence because a lot of what we do is in the shadows. The Prime Minister has spent his northern tour this week talking about the North's vast resources. Surrounded by troops today, he said this exercise proves Canada is ready to defend them. And it tested your response to an entirely plausible threat, that of ships entering our waters illegally. This former colonel says as the Arctic ice opens up, the government is sending a clear message about sovereignty. If the uh, rogue countries or the nefarious players know and are aware that the Canadian forces uh, have the capability of boarding ships in the Arctic, that they have the surveillance capability, they are less likely to come through the north. As for the elusive JTF-2 troops, this was a one-off show of force. They won't be appearing in public again anytime soon. Margaret McDermott, CBC News, Churchill, Manitoba. Coming up.